Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we will speak about one more contradiction in the Quran. You know, uh, we want people who uh, watch our videos, please if you like it, if you like them, uh, don't hesitate to copy and post the video anywhere you like, YouTube or different website, it doesn't matter. As long as you don't change anything in it, I have no problem. Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, as long as you don't uh, claim uh, to be yours or try to make money of it, then feel free to take it and use it the way uh, you you know you like. Uh, for free, you've been given. For free, you give, right? So uh, we want the people to be educated, to learn, and this is the whole idea. And I want to say thank you for those who they are, those who did enjoy my book, and they uh, you know try to share it with others. Uh, in order to share the truth and the knowledge, um, and I hope my my uh, variant number two is going to be even better to refute the false claims about the science of the Quran. However, today we will continue, and we will uh, uh, keep going with this video here, which is about Isaiah. The reason I am making many videos about this video here because. This video actually is very nice done. I like it. And it exposed many mistakes in the Quran, as we showed you before, and Islamic belief. Same time, you know, like the best way is to expose uh, fabrication is to use the word of the fabricator himself, because then he cannot deny it. If I say, Muslims say, etc., and then somebody might say to me, no, they don't say that. So by by getting the Muslim to be involved in the front of us and demonstrate his lies, that I believe is the best way to uh, expose Islam. So let us hear what uh, what uh, this is all about. We made before, as you remember, many uh, videos, three, I think, already. Now, this is about Isaiah chapter 42 and then verse number 6, etc. And the Muslim says this one cannot apply for Jesus because the Gospel in Matthew said that Jesus was sent only for the lost sheep of Israel. You know, the funny, the funny, I will show you the stupid contradiction Muslims always they come with. Remember, he is quoting for us a verse saying that this is cannot be for Jesus. Why? Because the verse saying that Jesus was sent for the, for the sheep of Israel. However, the Abdul himself, he will mention something exactly mentioned in his Quran, and it's exactly the same, and it's exactly still he is going to accept it to be approved for his benefit. Uh, maybe you do not know yet what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I mean. Watch with me. In Isaiah, God further states that he will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. The pagan Arabs at the time of the Prophet Muhammad fit this description perfectly because they had not been sent a messenger prior to Muhammad. The Quran bears witness to this. God states that Muhammad was sent to warn a people to whom no warner has come before. Thank you. So Muhammad was sent to people who has no warner has come to them before. And he is saying that those people are the Arab. Remember, it's not me who mentioned that. It is the Abdul who made this video, right? So he was sent to the Arab and those Arab, they have no warner before. That's wonderful. And imagine that he just rejected Jesus to be the, the, the one his message will go to everybody, all mankind, because it says in Matthew that Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. All right? But yet he just told us that Muhammad was sent only to the Arab. And specifically the pagan Arab, not all the Arab. Because there's Arab Christians, Muhammad he is not sent to them. Because it says in here, warn the people who has or who, who has no warner come before. So he cannot be a warner. For the Arab Christians, 
He cannot be a warner for the Jews who live in Mecca. He cannot be a warner for anyone who believe in the true God, the God of Abraham. He can be only a warner and a messenger for the Arab, who they are pagan. Then yet the Muslims, they will tell us that Muhammad, the prophet of the Abduls, he was a messenger for all mankind. But yet in this video, he is saying he was a messenger for the Arab. Very, very funny contradiction. However, this contradiction does not stop here. Because this is a very clear contradiction for all the teaching of Islam. And this is why I'm so happy to see this video, because this video will be an eye-opening for Christians to see how Muslims, when they speak, excuse my language, they do poo-poo. You know, they are the same as their prophet. Their prophet, wherever he moves, he do poo-poo. You know, when someone is a fool, the more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. I'm just trying to be polite using the word poo-poo. If you notice with me here, you will see the verse saying that there is no warner for those who Muhammad was sent to. No warner. No warner means there's no messenger. There's no prophet. They never heard about the, about the true God. But yet Muslims, they say to us that Muhammad himself was from an Abrahamic family. And not only that, they claim that Muhammad himself is coming from Ishmael. Which means the grandfather, according to Muslims, the grandfather of the Arab is Ishmael. Not only that, the disaster continue. Because if he's talking here about the city of Mecca and the people of Mecca, and the Arab people who live in Mecca, because remember Muhammad, he is from Mecca. When he said that those people, they do not know God, and they are pagan, and they have no warner before, that is a clear contradiction for the following verses in the Quran. The Muslims, they forgot that they give us speeches about Muhammad is from Ishmael and Ishmael is the grandfather of the Arab and Abraham and Ishmael, they are the one who built the Kaaba, which means they are the one who came to Mecca with their own feet. Not only they visited, but they lived there. Not only they live there, they are the one who first Muslims ever built the Kaaba. Which is very funny and we don't agree with, right? Because why someone want to leave a green land, you know, Iraq have two big rivers, right? And someone, someone, when people you know, like go for immigration or migration from, from place to place, especially in old days, and even until now, you know, even Mecca is called the, the land of Mecca, which means uh, for life, for, for water, it's the city of death. So the Quran state in chapter 2 verse 1 to 5 that uh, Abraham and Ishmael, Ishmael, they are the one who purify the house of Allah. And not only that, Abraham and Ishmael, they are the one who build the house. They are the one who put the foundation and build the house of the Kaaba. So how the Muslims, they say to us, as we saw in the video, that Muhammad was the first messenger or warner who came for the pagan Arab. That is a clear contradiction. Uh, obviously and this is a contradiction for this verse which is 32 verse number three so this video actually show you a clear contradiction with the quran quran itself contradicting the quran itself and contradicting the stories uh, of muslims which it says that muhammad is from the arab ishmael is the father of the arab and all this fabrication and abraham is the one with the kaaba and ishmael he built it with him and later we find abdul making a video saying well you know what the quran says that muhammad was the first warner ever who came here and this is, is in the Quran. So it's obviously a clear contradiction. Not to mention, only not to forget to mention, that not only Ishmael and Abraham who came to the Arabian Peninsula to teach, according to Muslims, there's many names. If I mention some of them, you know, there is Shu'aib, there is Salih, there is Hud, or in English they say Hud, and there is Ishmael, and there is Abraham, and there is uh, uh, Muhammad. Now there is some other names, Muslims, they agree about them or disagree, doesn't matter. But they agree about those names. So we have six messengers, according to Islam, they came to the Arab and the Arab specifically. But yet, the Quran says that Muhammad was sent to those who has no warner before thee. That means the following. Muhammad, he cannot be a messenger for those who has a warner before. 
because the Quran says he was sent for those who have no warner for them before he was not sent for the Arab Christians he was not sent to the Roman Christians he was not sent to the Jews he was not sent to anyone who knows God he sent only for those who do not believe in the true God which is not the people of the book as the Quran called them people of the book and the Quran are the Christian and the Jews specifically so Muhammad he cannot be a messenger for all mankind this is number one number two Muhammad was sent only for a specific group he is the one who they are unlearned about God which means he cannot and he should not accept the Christians to accept Islam because that is stupid request for Allah he said to him I send you only for those who has no warner come before thee and as all of us we know uh, Muslims admit that there was many Christians in Mecca and even they claim that Khadija was a Christian the first wife of Muhammad which is not I don't believe in that however this is what they say uh, uh, so there is many Christians and there is many Jews and Muhammad uh, story doesn't fit at all it's a contradiction for the story of Ishmael that he is from Ishmael Ishmael he came to Mecca Ishmael he warned people of Mecca Abraham he warned people of Mecca and then the Quran says to us that the first ever who warned people of Mecca was Muhammad and he was the first one to be the warner so simply it's a contradiction of fabrication and the fabrication always get exposed but what is amazing in this story that Muhammad himself how he became a prophet you see when someone he is a messenger you know he go uh, let us say by stages to be a messenger like first you have to come to becoming at least from a, a believing background or suddenly something happened to you and then you became a believer but Muhammad in no stage in the Quran he appeared to be a person who believed it says in the Quran in chapter 42 verse number 52 that we we inspire thee Muhammad a spirit of a spirit of our command do knowest not what scripture was nor what the faith so Muhammad do not know what Muhammad do not know what faith and he know nothing about the scriptures what scriptures which mean even the scriptures of the Jews and the Christians because remember the Quran called the people of the book people of the book because they have a book because they have scriptures we are not called and learned in the Quran for very simple reason because we are learned and we have the scriptures so Muhammad do not know what the scriptures and the most important he do not even have faith in the true God so Muhammad was pagan so how you inspire to a pagan to be a prophet when he is a pagan how a pagan became a prophet you see this this guy he don't even have God yet he don't have faith he do not know scriptures he know nothing about God and suddenly he became a prophet and Allah is inspiring a man who is illiterate about God about the command of God and he don't even have faith which is very important like you know what some they might do not know about God much or maybe they have wrong uh, belief but they believe in God but this guy even do not believe in God and that is expose the hypocrisy of Muslim when they say that Muhammad was an Abrahamic from the beginning and his family was Abrahamic because none of them was Abrahamic all his families never believe in God and even his father is not even his father because the name Abdullah is a fabrication how the grandfather of Muhammad he don't believe in God and the father of Muhammad do not believe in God and yet they call this the, the father of Muhammad the slave of Allah when they don't believe in Allah so none of them was Abrahamic and this is why I explain why Muhammad himself is not Abrahamic and that exposed the idea that Abraham he came to Mecca and people of Mecca most of them they were committing shirk shirk mean by the way it doesn't mean that they are people who worship idols it means they worship idols with God follow with me with more videos thank you for watching it God bless you